بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome again, brothers and sisters. Today, I have another reaction video. This video is very, very good video. I haven't watched the video, but I have a feeling that this video is very good. So, it says a Texas journalist who used to dislike Muslims converted to Islam. So this story be an amazing story. So let's get to this story and see what's what's all about. Assalamu alaikum. Today we have a very emotional birth story. The story of a person who once hated Islam and Muslims. We viewed every Muslim as being evil, backwards, mad, insane, that Islam wasn't the religion for today, that it did nothing but repress women and minorities. I went so far as to say very negative things about Islam in a lot of my work as a journalist. So Stephen is a journalist, a beekeeper, and a TikTok user who is currently spreading the word of Islam through his social media accounts. He has been in the media business for over 30 years. How did he come to be a Muslim, you'd ask? Before becoming a Muslim, Stephen used to hate Islam. Like he was always disgusted by the looks of Muslims and their practices. Being a media person, he went along with how the Western countries propagated Islam as a backward religion. Yeah, you know, he did all these despite being an atheist, that is. He didn't have a religion then. And he had that thought about Islam. SubhanAllah. Coupling with that, his life has always been filled with sadness, anger, and hate before reverting. So what changed? As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have it, his editor at work gave him a series of articles to read and come up with the story of how Islam is faring among the other religion in the United States. In the Holy Quran chapter 28 verse 56, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, It is true, thou wilt not be able to guide everyone whom thou lovest, but Allah guides those whom he will, and he knows best those who receive guidance. Before Islam, I had nothing. I didn't believe anything, didn't want to believe anything. But while doing a series of articles, I began to read the Quran, the Hadith, I would look at the Sunnah, but the Quran, the Quran is the miracle of Islam. Whenever the Almighty wants to lead you right, he most definitely will. While on the journey of coming up with a story, he proceeded to read the Qur'an and that made him revert. I started reading the Qur'an and I realized it is the miracle of Islam. It contains all the scientific knowledge no one ever knew would come to pass since the beginning. The Big Bang Theory included. While reading it, I was confronted with the truth that it is the religion and I have to be a part. The Qur'an is the deciding factor that made me revert. After reading the Qur'an, hadiths, and getting familiar with the Sunnah, he took the Shahada. Since then, he became a Muslim. This happened when he was 49 years old. Currently, he's 50 years. Immediately, he took the Shahada. He says he felt lightened. The moment I said the word, Ashhadu an la ilaha illa illallah, wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah, I felt a huge burden removed from my shoulder. I felt so much lightened. Right now I've changed. I don't feel the hate, sadness and anger anymore. Although I still struggle with the anger sometimes. Alhamdulillah. Were you recently injured in a slip and fall, car accident or dog? Some other changes people notice about him is that he has become more caring. He doesn't care about himself alone. He cares about others and their feelings. He is kinder, he shows kindness to everyone and is now collecting stray cats as a way of extending his kindness to animals. He is not rude like before. Prior to Islam, he was a little bit rude and blunt. But now, people said he has stopped that and is more polite. In one of his videos, Brother Stephen Amin 
answer the question in his comment section, which goes thus: Do you intend to change your name to a more Islamic one? Just wondering. He replied to his question by saying, "In all of the hadiths and sunnahs, there's nothing that says a revert needs to change his/her name unless it reflects their prior religion. My name doesn't reflect that, so I'm not changing my name. Besides, it's not easy to change a name." Furthermore, as we all know, being a Muslim in the United States can be a struggle. Brother Stephen Ammon has had a series of troubles, but Allah, the Most Merciful, has seen him through them. The Almighty said in the Holy Quran, chapter two, verse two hundred eighty-six: "Allah does not change a soul except with all that within its capacity." This is what Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has been doing in the life of Brother Stephen Ammon since he became a Muslim. One of the hardest things for him after reverting to Islam is the loss of families and friends. What is the hardest part about reverting, about making shahada and being Muslim? As I said in another video, it is、um, the loss of family and friends because I reverted. Islam is not highly regarded in the West, and where I live, it's even worse.、Um, it's even worse. You know, I, we say we live in what's called the Bible Belt, and Texas is the buckle on that belt, meaning the Christianity that people practice here is really strict and severe for people who are not Christians. If that makes sense. You know, he is a Muslim in a small town around Texas, and as the Almighty would have it. He's the only Muslim, Subhanallah, and the remaining people are strict Christians. It's not easy being the only Muslim, but he's steadfast on the path of Islam. He said, "I'm unique here. He's different. True, good difference, though." Likewise, a challenge he encountered after becoming a Muslim is losing his job. He was called into work one day and was told his contract would have to be terminated. The reason was. That he posts controversial issues about Islam on his social media account, although the media house was going to be sold and everyone would be out of a job, terminating his contract means he wouldn't get his payout. This was a setback towards his surgery payment. You see, brother Steve Ammon has heart disease and spent a lot of his salary on hospital bills. Still, he believed in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and waited for a breakthrough. As the Almighty would have it, his agent called the people that the media house would be sold to, and he was able to get his payout. Similarly, before he got the news of his payout and was worrying about how to find his surgery and hospital bills, his doctor told him he wouldn't charge him a dime that isn't covered by insurance. Allah Akbar. Seriously, reading the wordings of Allah and abiding by them is enough in all ramifications. Looking at our brother and his struggles, still he believed and kept striving. Right now, he's starting a media business where he tells news, but from an Islamic point of view, he's even reaching out to Muslim business owners to promote their brand and share their stories. You can say he's doing well financially. The Almighty has tested Brother Stephen Ammon to an extent where he almost fell into depression, but Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala didn't leave him. He took him by the hand and showed him the way. The Holy Quran, chapter one, verse six, guide us to the straight path. He promises to show us the way, and he did this with Brother Stephen Ammon. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to tell you something. I'm 50 years old. And this is the first time in my life since the age of 15 that I have not had a job. This is the first time I have been this worried about how I'm going to pay rent, utilities, all these medical costs that just continue to mount.、Um, I don't know how I'm going to do any of that. I don't know how I'm going to support my wife. Right now, Brother Stephen Ammon is still struggling with community judgments, rude comments about Islam, and his belief in all sorts of bad behaviors from others. His former account on TikTok was even suspended because some people were not happy about how he propagated Islam and reported the account. Yet that doesn't deter him 
as he is determined to do all he can to help reverts and share his story. Importantly, he encourages Muslim reverts to allow people in their lives, teach others what they don't understand about Islam, and lead them to the light. To help other Muslims in town beside where he lives, he is planning to build a masjid that will make it easy to perform salah and let others see that Islam isn't backward, but the true religion. May the Almighty help him achieve his goal sand, make us all steadfast on the path of Islam. I hope you learned something tangible from this story. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah, that story, brother Stephen's story was really, really, it's a really, you learn a lot from it. Yeah, becoming a Muslim in a, in a non-Muslim country, it's, it has a consequences and nowadays it's really bad. But if you say I'm a Muslim, people look, people look at you like strange, you know. Yeah, this is this all. Allah is with the Allah is with us, and you know all the hardships, all the problems you go through. Leave it to Allah. Allah will solve the problem. Stephen went through a lots of struggles, and he lost his job because he became a Muslim, where predominantly Christian. You know, rejecting somebody to work for you because he's a Muslim. Wow, that's really unbelievable. Yeah, it's 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 a sad. It's really sad. I don't know what to say about that. It's just like this. Stephen's story is touching me. I know I saw him uh, talking about Islamic beliefs. And uh, I watch a couple of videos. He's doing good, but Allah is with him and with us. So, brothers and sisters, thank you for watching for this video. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you on the next video, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi taala wa barakatuh.